I have had an interesting day. Hi, everybody. I've had a very interesting day. Now you're probably wondering why. There's two cameras! Well, there could have been three. I chose not to. Anyway, the whole story starts about a camera. But we'll get to that. I'm here for a reason. And I'm about to tell you about my day. And it's a fucking good story. And if you don't believe me, you got the problem. Sorry, I had to run away to get some water because I just took some tramadol. We'll get to the story soon. We'll be cutting between vlog and reality and what happened today. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, so there's a lot of footage. Yay! I need lots of water though. So... First of all, let me pull up my pants a little bit, just to get comfy. No one knows why yet! No one knows why! But, I bought myself a t-shirt. And, I like my t-shirt, so I'm gonna wear it for this video. I've also, I don't know what the full design looks like yet, so... <laughs> there we go. Get rid of all of the- oh yeah, that would definitely stab into my skin. But I shall tell you all about my day. Oh, yes, I will. But first, give me a little bit of a blur in editing, please. My beautiful body. You're not allowed to see my beautiful body as I get changed into this brand new shrink wrapped clothing. Oh, yes. And, and also be careful and. Oh my god, there we go! And the blur fades away. Check it out, bro. Check it out. I've gotta drive for some. Oh, it says large here. Go away. I've gotta drive for some. I'm a baddie because I'm a baddie. I love the baddie. Um, I don't know if that made any sense or if that rhymed or if that was even words. But, um, so today was a very interesting day. Um, hey, Scar. Cut to the vlog. Good morning, fellow inner peeps. I guess my past self has just told me to cut to vlog. I didn't think this video was going to be a vlog, but apparently it is going to be a vlog of sorts in some way. I'm going to tell you about my day. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Anyway, this all started somehow by a message given to me from a friend who I offered a webcam to. Uh, I was like, well, you're my friend and I have a spare. You may have my webcam. And he contacted me today and said, hey, is that webcam still available? And I was like, yes, actually, it is. Um, uh, we don't know when he's going to pick it up or whatever, but I was just like on the same thought. I was just like, uh, okay, cool. I should probably fix something to do with my camera now. The reason that you guys can see me and it's like perfectly still and everything like that is because I've got this scotch tape, this double-sided tape that, uh, th that attaches the camera to my big ass fucking wooden contraption, which means that, you know, the camera's always in the same spot, it's got the same sort of things. I did change it, so if you're, if you're about to call me on it, uh, I did just change the tape. That was why I left the house to begin with. I went to Officeworks and I got some scotch tape. Uh, because, uh, I, I didn't know if, like, you know, Coles or Safeway or something would have it, so fuck it. Anyway, that's not the point. While I was at Officeworks, I realized that this chair, oh my god, this chair is a little bit rickety, hey? Just a little bit rickety. So, uh, not just that, but it's also, I bought it so then my back wouldn't be too bad. Um, and my back has been really bad recently. This chair has helped with that, but it just, it just wasn't enough. And since the Xbox Series X is, I'm not gonna get one this year. I'm just, I just can't get one this year. So I decided to use some of the money to, uh, put towards something else. Now, that being said, um, I was at Officeworks and I looked at a bunch of gaming chairs and I decided to get one. And it is a decent chair. A little, you 
you know, it's a decent chair and I liked it at the store, so I bought myself a chair. So, yeah. Bad back, need to fix it, need to do something about it, right? Am I right? So I did this. Oh my god, that hurt more than I was expecting it to. Oh my god. And I'll explain to you why soon. But not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Ow. Okay, anyway, I got myself a Typhoon Pro gaming chair. Now, I know that everyone is attached to Charmander. I know that everyone's attached to Charmander. And so am I. I'm not getting rid of Charmander. You don't have to worry. It's all good. Bro. But Charmander doesn't support my back as much as this chair will. Now, you guys will see that as I assemble it. Oh, now this is very intense. Cut to the vlog and you'll know why. Then I decided that it might be a good idea for me to, from Officeworks, to drop this home and then go to my local store because I needed to pick up some medicine, I needed to pick up some a, a bunch of other things, um, and I also wanted to go get a massage because my back has been killing me. As you guys know, I've got a bad back. Um, I've got heaps of knots everywhere. Oh my god, they found knots in places I didn't even know existed! Uh, you know how sometimes like those really ripped guys look like they've got extra ribs like along here? Yeah, apparently I had knots in those. Uh, so the exercise that I've been doing, I've been developing that sort of stuff. I know I don't look like much because I still got a gut, but like my upper body is has just been going crazy and I've been trying to exercise my lower back and everything like that as well. So I, the only thing I need to do is get rid of the belly fat. Um, but also, yeah, uh, my back's not doing too good and I'm really worried about it, so I decided to invest some money into a chip. But I also went for a massage, I got that done and I was very happy with that. But while I was at the shops, I did know that there was a walk-in doctors. So, that being said, I'm going to show you some footage of what has just happened, but um, I have had a cyst that has been bugging me for about a year. And I hate it, and it was just never, it just never stopped popping. It got to the stage where it just had, what would you say, uh, it just had scar tissue around it so much so that it would never properly close. It turned into a cyst. It was just a, I think a sweat gland or something got problematic. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I went to the doctors and I got a microsurgery today. And um, that is something that happened today. So I got microsurgery. Let me show you some footage. Hi guys, I am currently in the bathroom of a doctor's office. Uh, I'm about to get a dick cyst removed, <laughs> a surface level cyst on the shaft of my penis, and I've been given express permission to film it, provided uh, I guess the doctors and nurses are not allowed to be on camera because they don't trust me enough to be able to blur their faces, which I would have. I just want a better angle shot, so if it's a bad shot, and it's all going to be blurred. But, hey, Dixis! Good morning, fellow inner peeps. Um, for legal reasons, I'm not allowed to film the procedure itself, but that's okay. I'm just going to record this, just be like, hey, look, this is me beforehand. See, my penis is still intact. But afterwards, I'll also tell you how it went, what, 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 what happened, how I felt during, and uh, apparently my blood level's a little bit high. And that means that I might be nervous or something, but currently eating a jelly bean and drinking water. So then, you know, when they cut me open, I don't faint or something. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna die. Prepping for procedure now. The camera is now going to be turned off. Goodbye. See you when I die and they make me bleed to death because they're lovely doctors. <laughs> Well, I got the surgery done, and it was awesome. We did great. 
They weren't allowing me to film it, but it's, it's fine. I took some pictures of the end result, which is awesome. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I've got some gauze around my penis. Now, obviously I have to blur that because <laughs> YouTube and stuff. But, um, <laughs> I got a dick cyst removed, man. That's so cool. I should write a song about it, man. I should write a metal song just called Dexist! Dexist! I'm really excited. Though, um, what they gave me to numb the area is wearing off right now. So I'm going to go to the pharmacy, get some painkillers, and I'm going to be high as a kite while I do my next video. It's going to be awesome, but, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, the next couple of weeks is not going to be fun. I need to redress it. I need to go back to the doctors and do some stuff, and I'm still in the bathroom. Well, not still in the bathroom, I'm back, back in the bathroom. I, I'm going to go before it starts to hurt. So I'll see you soon, in a piece. Hi guys, I just got a dick cyst removed, as you guys know because you've already seen it, but I thought I'd make a day of it, I'll tell you all about my day when I get home. But now I'm getting my ear pierced while I've got stitches in my penis because it's hilarious! How much can I go through today? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm insane, but thank you to the pharmacist for allowing me to film this. I'm gonna mark that. That's I right like next it. to the old one. Right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Like, I mean, I like that because, like, when the ring is there, it's gonna, it's gonna like dangle down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But I gotta get a stud. I can't just immediately get a ring. So yeah. I, I think that's the perfect spot. It's gonna sit right next to the existing one. See the existing one there. Yeah. That'll is that gonna fine. be a problem? Is it? No. All right. Cool. Because that's like scar tissue. So. Yeah. It's... Usually pierces. They'll uh, if they've got a. If they've got a piercing that's got the scar tissue there, um, they'll either get a bigger needle so then yeah. they cut past yeah. the scar tissue, like get yeah. rid of the scar these, tissue. These, these guns will get it right through, there's no issue there. Uh, just don't touch that spot where I'm going to pierce you. Actually, um, do you want to maybe put it back a little bit? Back? Do you want on the other side? Yeah, like yep. uh, just just a Sorry couple right millimetres to, the, to my left. You know behind what I mean? Behind the existing hole. Yeah, behind it. Yep. This is awesome. Show you exactly. Yeah, perfect. I love it. Yeah, I'm cool with that because it's a bit more centered. It's, it's not going to mess with my OCD. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Thank you. Happy with that? Oh yeah, I perfectly. Can, I, can, I can do it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, except for the cartilage. No worries. Do you want me to disguise your voice on YouTube, or are you cool? All right, as long as your face is, is, isn't in, is in charge. Yeah, that's my thing. All right, cool. No worries. Thank you so much. Everyone has been so nice to me today. Do you want me to do that so you can see? Yeah, okay. sure. So, so no, this is prepping the gun. Yeah, this is prepping the gun at no time. None of these parts actually hit your ear. Yeah. So It just pushes through, you take a deep correct. breath in, then you breathe that's out as soon as you press the gun. Gotcha. That's correct. I've been through this before. You've been through it before. I had a nose ring, I had an earring here, and I pierced two so up here with a dart because I was stupid and crazy. Um, I'm an idiot. What am I doing today? All right, come this, on. This is, uh, this is actually nothing compared to what the effect was. Oh yeah, no, absolutely nothing. I felt the cartilage rip when I put the dart through it. Like, right, you ready? And go. And now I have a piercing. It's as simple as that, guys. If you guys want to go get pierced, go to your local pharmacy. A lot of them do it, and they do it pretty cheap. How much did I pay Australian dollars for this? How much did you pay then? Uh, uh, well, I took some medication as well for my dick stitches, but... It's, it's probably about... About 20... 35 average, yeah. 35, 20 yeah. bucks, yeah. It's not, it's not bad. Like, it's, it's worthwhile doing, and, um, you know, if you're, if you're into that sort of thing, then yeah. go for it. There's your antiseptic spray. And I've got some antiseptic spray, so I'm going to be spraying that. I'm going to ma be ma maintaining it along with my dick stitches. Oh, my God. I told the pharmacy about it, and he's, he just can't stop smiling. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys soon. And a beeps. Yeah, okay, so, I had a dick cyst, and now it's been removed. Um, that being said, I am drinking plenty of water, don't you worry about it, and I'm, I'm eating food and stuff. 
But, uh, yeah, so they gave me tramadol, which is there for the pain, for the stitches, and for because they cut a massive lump out of me, as you guys just saw, and there was a warning prior to that. Hopefully I edited a warning in for those with weak stomachs. But I couldn't show you everything, I had to blur some stuff. That's right, after my massage I decided, hey, it was a good idea to go get my uh, cyst removed. So right now I have stitches in my dick. I'm on tramadol for the pain and <laughs> and I got a near piercing. Because I mean what else could top off the day? It, 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 the thing that needs to happen. Now with all of that combined, with all of the beautiful things combined and the shirt and all of its glory, now I'm going to assemble this thing with all of that happening at once. The pierced ear with stitches in my dick and on tramadol. That's why I was drinking plenty of water. I'm not looking forward to this, but it's going to be a fun montage. It's montage! Copyright! Uh, ooh. Okay, I need to be careful. Now, I know most people will be saying, hey, use a Stanley knife. But you know what? Screwdrivers are incredibly useful. Okay? You say screwdriver's not useful, you tell that to the person who got murdered by one. And there's plenty of those. Don't murder people. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Bad. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. The unboxing of a pro gamer chair. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, there's gonna be so much cardboard. Oh no, my recycling bin's gonna be full for days. Okay. Well, we're. Oh, oh my god. If you did catch that, put that in slow mo. I just put cardboard into my eye. You hit the eyelid. You hit the eyelid. I'm okay. But if that is on camera, which I think it is, please slow mo that shit. That is hilarious. <laughs> well, we're. Oh. Well, we're. Oh. Man, I injured myself without even trying. Alright, the cardboard goes over there. What's this? Accessory box! Which is tethered? Why are you tethered? In what world would you need to be tethered? What's in this? What is in this that requires you to be tethered? I don't know, I just... I need to know, why is this tethered? Get out of it, stop being tethered. Oh, so there's like screws and some form of plating. Be nice if they had like the instructions at the stop, at the stop, at the top. If they had the instructions at the top, I'd be a lot happier. But hey, check it out. Ta boom, baby! Ah, oh, dude, don't. Just don't. You got fucking stitches in your dick. What are you doing? What are you doing? He says to himself maniacally. <laughs> okay, so we got Typhoon, which is really cool. I've never heard of this brand, nor do I uh, am sponsored by them. But if they wish to send me money, as this is a medical thing, literally buying this chair for a medical reason, and also free promotion, sponsor me. Yeah, I know I have under a thousand subscribers and no one gives a shit, but hey, we're getting there. That's what the album's about, yo. All right, plastic, over there. Oh my God, this is the cushion. This is the cushion, not just that, but you could, you could wear this as a backpack. Mm. All right, going on a typhoon adventure. Yep, that's going to be named. Good one. Good thinking, Scarab. Yeah, let's uh, let's build a chair on drugs. That's a great idea. Who's the idea with that? Oh yeah, that's me. That was my idea.